After almost 25 years in the publishing business, there are three myths I can tell you most first time authors believe in and they need to debunk if they really want to get a book in the world. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about those three myths and I'm going to give you a pro tip at the end for how to overcome one of them. So the first myth I hear all the time as a book editor is that I should already know how to write a book. And this is an understandable one because so many of us have spent so much of our lives reading. Many people who want to write books love reading books, right? Like me, I'm sure you're the same way. And we think, well, we've spent so much time with books, we should know how to write one. But I want to ask you, you've spent most of your life living in a house, I assume. Do you know how to build one? No, because there are so many strategic decisions that have to be made in building a house that you would never know just by living in one. And the same goes for writing a book. There are so many decisions that need to be made. There's so much information that needs to be understood in order to write an excellent book that a lot of people want to read that there's no reason why you should know how to do it. And in fact, you watching this video tells me that you are investing in educating yourself, which is the way to turn this myth around. Get that education. You can take workshops, you can watch YouTube videos, you can read books like mine about how to write a book. You can even hire a book coach who can walk you through somebody who's been doing it for their entire career. But regardless, getting that education is critical because until you have it, writing a book is gonna feel like an uphill battle that it doesn't need to feel like. You just need a little more information. All right, so the second myth that I hear all the time is that I don't need a deadline. Now, I wanna say, I understand this. A lot of people love writing and they love free writing and being sort of um, able to, to sit down and write when the muse strikes. And I understand that. But at the same time, I will tell you after so many years in the publishing business that a deadline is gold. Having a meaningful deadline is often the difference between finishing a book and not finishing a book. Because if you have that meaningful deadline, you're willing to set aside the critical eye that's gonna give you what I call death by editing if you don't have that deadline, because you know you've gotta get your baby out the door and off to college at this date. So it's not gonna be perfect, but that is okay. You, you have to end somewhere. You could tinker around with that book for the rest of your life. But if you have a deadline, then you don't have all that time. So so that is the thing I would say I would offer you is that don't believe that a deadline doesn't matter. A deadline really matters. Set a meaningful one for yourself and watch how much progress you make. All right. And the third myth I want to talk to you about is that I hear all the time. I'm not a real writer until a publishing company buys my book right? Until somebody tells me that my book is good enough, I'm not a real writer. And I've got to tell you that is simply not true, especially today. So many people are out there putting their work, their wisdom, and their stories into the world and getting so much return in terms of both financial, but also just knowing that they're really helping people. They're, they're teaching people things they need to learn or they're entertaining people. All of that can happen without you ever having a publishing company give you, quote, their stamp of approval, okay? So there is actually only one thing you have to be doing if you want to be a writer, if you want to claim that title, and that is that you have to be writing. So here is that pro tip I promised you. I love, love giving people writing prompts because to become a writer and feel like you're a writer, you should be writing most days a week. You don't have to write a lot. You could write just for seven to 10 minutes each day. But I'll tell you, once you start doing that, you will not be able to not claim that title as a writer. You will start identifying as a writer because you're writing all the time. So writing prompts make that daily writing so much easier. You don't have to sit down and wonder, what am I going to write? You don't have to think, oh my gosh, this has to be the absolute best piece of writing I've ever done, or this has to be relevant to the book I'm writing. No, you let all of that go and you use a prompt to just allow your body and heart to, to sort of circumvent the mind and write. So I want to give you a couple writing prompts that will help you today. You can start today. So this first writing prompt is I remember dot, dot, dot. I remember. So how you use a writing prompt is you set a timer on your phone, maybe seven minutes, maybe 10 minutes. You write that prompt at the top of the page. And then when the timer starts, you just start writing. Okay. I remember, I remember, I remember when you come to the end or a pause, you just rewrite the prompt again. Don't 
judge yourself, don't edit anything. This is not necessarily meant for public consumption. This is for you to have the opportunity to get in the flow of writing and allow a deeper part of yourself to speak on the page, whether that's your heart or your body, some part of you that's not gonna be, if you're circumventing that judgmental mind that says, I'm not a writer, I'm not good enough, I don't know if this idea is right, I have to be writing something for my book. No, you don't. This is your time to be writing. Because if you have this desire to write a book, it's because some part of you wants to be in that creative process. And this kind of writing prompt can help you. Okay, so the first writing prompt is, I remember, I remember, I remember. The next one is, I don't know what to write, but. I don't know what to write, but, but something will come out. I don't know what to write, but. And when you come to a pause, you just write it again. I don't know what to write, but you'll be so surprised by what your body and heart know to write that your mind didn't know. Okay. And then the final one that I want you to, to try out is I'm going to, I'm going to. Okay. So this is a way that you can discover to your surprise what your deeper soul wants you to do. I'm going to dot, dot, dot. I'm going to dot, dot, dot. Now, any sentence starter can be a writing prompt and you can even use something that's not words. You can use a picture or a smell or, um, you know, a video or something like that. But basically you're just choosing a thing that you are going to allow to work inside of you and come out on the page. And with that, I promise you, if you do that most days a week, so let's say four to five days a week, you will have no problem claiming yourself as a writer. So I hope that this has been helpful to you. Please, Sit down today and try one of those writing prompts and for the rest of your days, keep writing.